Hi everyone, I hope you are well. I'm using the Psychic Tarot of the Heart for our weekly reading from Monday the 15th of August through to Sunday the 25th, uh, 21st of August. So I'm setting the intention for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video. So I'm asking now for a card for Monday. And we are the tower. Tuesday, the ace of wands. Wednesday, the solar plexus. Thursday, the temperance. Friday, the Hermit, Saturday, the Fool, and Sunday, the Nine of Cups. So for Monday we have the Tower card, which is a major arcana, which is change coming in. We've already started the process and, and change is inventable so this change comes in but it's good change it's nothing to fear we have been doing the work internally so as we shift things within our outside reality starts to change also so the breaking down and falling down of all paradigms building a, of a new reality with a firm foundation of love. You can see all the beautiful colours in this card, the violets, the pinks, the gold, focusing on that and moving towards those, that higher consciousness and allowing the old false conditioning to fall away. And sometimes that can be quite, quite drastic. Things happen really quickly and it is to just keep aligning ourselves as we're making this transition. So the tower, and this is a falling away of everything that is not of love, that was built on a falseness. So from Monday, it's just breathing through. We've had such high vibrational, high frequency proton light coming in through the lion's gate, with the full moon as well so we've had some big energy and this is coming in and settling within us and activating within us and and asking us to allow everything that's not serving us to fall away not to resist any change to go with it to to allow our hearts to navigate us and it that's where he has his hands on his heart asking us to follow our hearts Follow our higher heart, allow our higher heart and merge with our, our lower heart chakra. Merging together now, moving forward in unconditional love, moving forward in joy and with that higher connection with the higher consciousness. Tuesday we have the Ace of Wands. This is new things coming in, new vitality. As we, as the old starts to fall away, the old conditioning, the old repetitive thoughts and feelings, as we start to adjust them and change them, we start to build our energy, our vital life force energy because we're not worrying and stressing about things that we have no control over so we stay in this moment and we are mindful and we are in a place of awareness
of where we're placing our attention. You can see the beautiful rainbow colours there coming from his flute and this is vibration, this is frequency. So when we're in alignment, we are in that perfect flow to bring in beautiful opportunities in our lives. This is a new beginning. So anybody who's stepping into a new career, stepping into a business, this is confirmation for you that this is going to be really lucky. This is going to be pros pros prosperous for you. So anything that you are working with and building, know that it's going to come into your life, bringing beautiful abundance, divine abundance. Wednesday, we have the solar plexus. So I'm just going to ask for some clarification for Wednesday to go with the solar plexus. There we have the three of cups. So we're being asked to celebrate love. So the solar plexus is the energy of the sun. We've had this beautiful lion's gate and we're in the season we are in leo season so it's a lot of solar energy and it is guiding us that's where our intuition is and we are being asked to follow and be guided and navigate with love and celebrate life life is a pure celebration the three of cups is one of acceptance of accepting everybody's uniqueness which is divinely beautiful and opening our, our energy and our awareness to actually see the beauty of life and as we follow our intuition and allow it to navigate us listening to our, our guidance within it it guides us to love so Wednesday, look for the stirrings within your solar plexus. This is the emotional centre as well. So call on the angels if you need any healing there. Uh, if there's any fear or lack of self-worth there. Because if we doubt ourselves, we will doubt everyone in our reality. Especially people who are coming to us with love. We won't be able to accept it. There will be doubt there. So asking and transmuting that doubt to, into joy. This is the energy of the sun. This gives life. This is life force energy. And as we cleanse those emotions, those old stuck emotions, cleansed away, our intuition becomes so clear. And we're being asked to listen to our intuition now and allow any doubts to fall away. Thursday we have the temperance and the balancing of the divine masculine and the divine feminine which is within us so when we balance the divine masculine and divine feminine within us the, the lion and the lioness such power comes such beautiful energy flows from us and we draw this love into our lives that balanced that is on the same wavelength. So the temperance card is a healing card and it's a card to remind us that our guardian angels are always around us and guiding us, asking for their assistance if we need it. They can't help unless we ask to be really mindful that if there's anything going on in our love life that is causing any kind of discomfort any pain within us to call on archangel shemuel he's the archangel of the higher heart he's the archangel who helps us and guides us to our soulmate so on thursday call on archangel shemuel ask him to help and guide you to your soulmate if, if that is who you're looking for or your new career new opportunities are flowing in this is the perfect time where the planets are in alignment to help to progress us on our path and as we bring ourselves into alignment we bring things in that are on our wavelength 
So, so on Thursday, the temperance card, calling on your angels, calling on Archangel Shemuel to help guide you into that soulmate relationship, into onto your soul purpose, to find anything, to call back any essence of your soul that may be trapped in past lives and is blocking us from moving forward. So Thursday is a day of really going into our heart center, coming into the divine masculine and divine feminine within, allowing them to merge together, bringing that beautiful balance. Friday, we are the hermit. And you can see that he's levitating in that beautiful emerald light. And, and we're being asked to go within to listen to, to what is going on within, to listen to our thoughts and our feelings and, and allowing any limiting beliefs to be dissolved now. Any time we think that something's wrong in our lives, every time we think a relationship's not working, every time we look at the negative, the, 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 the contraction and the resistance of something, we've gone into a limiting belief and we're being asked to go within. And to, and this is in the angel tarot card deck, this is Archangel Raziel bringing those spiritual gifts because we find them within. They are not around, they're not outside of us. They're within us, that light is within. And when we tap into that divine intelligence within, all the most beautiful and perfect and loving answers to our questions arise and, and and we we are able to follow them because they're true to ourselves so on friday a day of going within doing some letting go of anything that is limiting anything seen or unseen that we are going into resistance to that's resisting abundance coming into our lives that's a resistance to love coming into our lives because if we're holding on to pain in any way if we're holding on to loss in any way we've got a resistance that the abundance can't flow to us love can't come into our lives so really going in on friday looking and doing some self-healing some cleansing work and listening and calling it on archangel Raziel on Friday to assist us to tap into our own unique spiritual gifts. He will help us with our, our life path. He will help us with our clairaudience, our clairvoyance, our clairaudience. He, he is there and he, he's the, angel, the archangel of, he's the wizard of the archangel realm. He's the Archangel of Divine Magic. So asking him to come in to feel that divine magic within you. And as soon as you start feeling it, it then resonates out and creates that beautiful magical energy around you. So we are from, we're having these tower moments and they are what we've been praying for. We've been praying for change. And it's, it's occurring and we may be feeling it in our bodies, we may be feeling it in our emotions, our, our thoughts and, and everything's coming to the surface of do we want to, to carry on and walk our path carrying the heavy load of the past? Are, are we ready to allow those layers to just fall away and step onto this new path and you can see she is flying there she's not looking down she's not looking if she's going to trip up or fall off the edge of the cliff she is focused on where she's going she has her heart open her arms wide open allowing her heart to guide her and this is a new beginning but a new beginning with all the wisdom that we have learnt all the divine intelligence that we have residing within us 
as we've done the work and 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 allow those veils to fall away those layers to fall away we are tuning in now and we are knowing we are at the steering wheel of our own lives guiding it and then on sunday we have our wishes fulfilled so this is wishes coming true oh the hand there with this beautiful energy coming from the palms reminding us that we we have creation our hearts our hands are extension from our heart as we touch and we send that beautiful energy into everything we touch that's the new reality we start to build because everything owes our energy imprint so if we touch something when we're sad then we will sit in that place and the sadness will keep arising in us it it it, it, it just it just absorbs into everything around us when we are sat in a place of joy and knowing the divine power that we hold within and we and we are starting to shift things because things are going to start shifting in our reality and we're going to start to see things move and shift in a positive way then we start to focus even more on our beautiful intentions uh beautiful wishes not just for ourselves but for everyone seeing everyone prosper seeing everyone succeed and using their own unique gifts so this is a time and nines of a uh, completion spiritual completion so a beautiful time to really reap the rewards now staying focused so we have a beautiful week some powerful energies some major shifts and don't let these shifts knock you out of alignment if you feel yourself getting a little bit pulled into to some drama or something going on in the outside world that is bringing some fear and the thing is being mindful of what you're imbibing during this time during this transition being mindful of what you're listening to who you're listening to how that person's making you feel what you're seeing on tv it's all relevant at this time to make sure you're taking in whether it be food your water what you're listening to what you're seeing it's all going in it's an energy and being very mindful now of really looking after ourselves really really nurturing ourselves during these shifts and these changes and knowing that this we always have free will to always choose something that's going to uplift us that's our free will and that will bring in that's a magnet that will draw that energy to us so a beautiful week uh so sending so much love have a wonderful wonderful week and enjoying this beautiful weather that we have been having in the uk take care and god bless thank you